Tom Clark's 30-Minute Fun Show is a Boink Studios production. Follow us on Twitter at Boink Studios. And check out our Facebook page where you can see all of our projects, past, present, and future. And now, on with the show. What is up? Welcome to the program. This is Tom Clark's 30 Minute Fun Show. I'm Tom. This is the boy. Say hello, boy. Yeah, what's up? Peace. <laughs> That's not quite the, uh, the the big, loud, boisterous entrance that you usually have on the show. Yeah. Why is that? Because I just don't like it. You don't like what? Talking loud. Talking loud? Talking talking loud for the intro. Let me tell you something, man. You gotta bring it. You got to bring it this time. You're gonna have to be loud. Be okay, boisterous. I'll be loud. You got to raise a ruckus. Rage against the machine. Well, you wanna know why? Because this is the music episode, fool. Yeah. Throw your horns up, folks. I'm gonna tell you right now. This is the music episode. Uh, so, we, we talk about a lot of stuff on the program. By the way, you're listening to episode number five. Number five. How cool is that? I like number five. Five is a good number. Five works and for me. I'm also eating again, and we're on the road again soon. <laughs> You're eating again. What are you eating this time? Swedish fish. Swedish fish. I don't know what your fascination is with that stuff, but I know you're a fan. So. I used to eat this all the time when I was little. When you were little, you mean smaller? Yeah. Right. Uh, so we, we got haircuts today. Tell the people what kind of haircut you got. Mohawk. Mohawk, fool. That's right. Looking like Animal from the Road Warriors. Huh? No, I don't. <laughs> the Road Warriors, Legion of Doom. Yeah. Hawk and Animal. Come on now, wake up. <laughs> Music episode. So, here we go. Um, we've been listening to a, to a few tunes this morning and today. We just listened to a little Def Leppard. Okay. This is what we're going to talk about. Alright. So, this is what the challenge is called. What's, what's your favorite song? What's your favorite song? God, you're, you're going hardcore right off the bat, aren't you? Yep. You're going to put me to the test. All right. Whew. Of all time? Mm -hmm. Of all time. Does it have to be like a solid number one? Can it change whenever I want it to? Um, it can be pop. It can be rock and roll. Whatever you want. Well, you know, because um, it's not going to be pop. I'm not into pop music. Yeah. I'm not into pop. I'm not into country. Uh, country music is of the devil. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and pop music, um, as far as I'm concerned, you can round all those people up and uh, show them off a cliff. It's just <laughs> my opinion. Um, okay, so it's hard. Maybe I'll say, uh, uh, at any given moment, my favorite song of all time. Because I can't sit here and tell you honestly, this you is... The song of the, you have to tell the title of the song and, and the one who wrote the song. Of course I can. I can do that all day long. But the way I'll answer it is this. It has to be my favorite song at any given point. Yeah. Because for me to sit here and tell you my favorite song of all time, bar none, I, don't, I can't do that. That's too hard. So instead, I'll give you my favorite song of all time at any given point. Okay. Would have to be, it's by the Beatles, yep. and it's called Hey Bulldog. Okay. And I know you've heard that. I've let you listen to it. I love that song. There's something about that song that just makes me happy. Um, and I love the Peter Gunn theme like that they've incorporated into it. Whether that was deliberate or not, I don't know. But um, the horn and everything. just And I love the Beatles. I'm a huge Beatles fan. I always have been. I'm a Beatle maniac, as it were. Um, what you going to do, brother, when Beatle mania runs wild on you? Oh, yeah. So there you go. My favorite song. Hit me. What is it? It's from Pop. It's all right. Speak loud so they can hear you. It is Justin Bieber. Sorry. Oh my God! Are you kidding? Yep. This this podcast may not see the light of day. That that's that's embarrassing. I love Justin Bieber songs. 
Oh that. my God, I'm doing parenting all wrong. I've failed you as a parent. That's what's <laughs> happened. I've I've failed you as a father because if I could meet that kid, I would put him through a table. I'm just saying. If I met him, I would be friends with him all the time. Then I would have to put you through a table as well. Okay. <laughs> put you through a table. I'll choke slam you. <laughs> I'll power, dude. I'll set the table on fire and power bomb that kid straight through it. No, Watch me. Yeah, right. It's all right. He would be in jail because he's a celebrity. I don't know if I'd be put in jail for hurting him. I'm gonna tell you right now. I might get a medal for that one. No, you will not. As the boy said, we are on the road, so please pay no attention to the turn signals and the engines and the horns and the the lousy drivers that surround us at the moment. Yep. That's our music most of the time. Is the, the litany of sounds that we have to endure while on the road. We always seem to be traveling somewhere. Yeah. Um, this is this we could just call and this. And we are traveling to uh -huh. Lenore. That's right. This could be called Tom Clark's on or on the road with Tom Clark or something. Yeah. <laughs> so like a, a large thirty minute road show. Oh my God, that's awesome! I love that Tom Clark's thirty minute road show, dude. That's brilliant. <laughs> Maybe we could do that for the YouTube show. We could put like a, a cam up on the dash, like a dash cam and film the both of us, record the both of us as we're driving. Hey man, there's people with YouTube shows doing stuff a lot less boring, than, a lot more boring than that. So, hey, you never know. We could have a hit on our hands. Yeah. Tom Clark's 30 minute road show. <laughs> Dude, I'm more of a fan of it the longer I say it. That's good stuff. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. So music is a big part um, of my life. It always has been. And I know that you have your own taste in music, and that's okay. I'm not going to stop you from listening to something unless it's just extremely offensive, which that crap you just mentioned is offensive to me, but, you know. Who okay. Well, I do. Again, I have to keep garbage out of your ears at all costs. But no, you don't. I have to. It's my job, man. Again, I feel I failed you as a parent. But Okay, um... Here it is. When I was growing up, my mom... Um, Which is my granny Judy. Yes. She listened to bands like Kiss. Believe it or not, she listened, She was a big Kiss fan. She liked Queen. Um, Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. Uh, let's see, what else did I listen to growing up? Uh, she did like... Huh? She loved the Beatles. She liked the Eagles. She liked Led Zeppelin. Um, so, I was raised with some really awesome music in the house. Uh, and also, she was... What did you play? What did you play music? Well, at that time we had records, the big black records, the vinyl. Yeah, we had vinyl. But um, we had soul as well, because Mom liked... Um, she liked Diana Ross. Uh, I guess she did like rock music. She loved rock music, so I, I had a little bit of everything. So I grew up knowing... Who these who these artists were, and so it, like at school and stuff, the, my friends were listening to like the latest pop songs, and I was still listening to, you know, the Beatles and Led Zeppelin. And I'm talking about when I was a kid, kid. You know what I mean? So that music kind of stayed with me. Now, later on in life, I discovered jazz, uh, and I sort of schooled myself on jazz, and I schooled myself on the blues. That's why I'm a I'm a huge blues fan. Um, you know, Muddy Waters. Uh, Jimmy Rogers, who I love, and um, you know Freddie King, Albert King. Got to have the Kings, the three Kings: Freddie, Albert, and BB. So uh, don't forget Fat Albert. Fat Albert. <laughs> I did grow up watching Fat Albert as well. <laughs> I wish they didn't take it off of Netflix. That did they take it off Netflix? I think. Oh my God. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Well, what's happened to Netflix then? We must cancel our membership. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Fat Albert was a great show because it taught life lessons. Yeah. You know, Bill Cosby, who later on in life turned out to be a whatever, but, um, you know, he, he taught valuable life lessons on that show. I used to love oh, Fat Albert and the Cosby on. Kids. And you're an idiot? And if you do drugs, then you're going to be stupid. We've covered drugs on the show before, okay? We had a conversation this morning about what drugs are and, and what kind of drugs are out there and how and all of them are bad. Um, people say marijuana is bad, not bad. It really is. 
Everything is. Well done. Well, you know, you had to be smart. And as we said this morning, you have to understand um, that everything you do, you have to face the repercussions and the consequences of it. Yeah. So if you choose to put something bad in your body, in your system, you have to pay the price for it later. Uh, and we would rather stay healthy and we'd rather stay, you know, clean inside as much as possible. That includes cigarettes and alcohol as well. Because yours truly is straight edge and so far you are too. And we're going to stay that way. Yeah. And if you eat bad stuff like my dad has been doing. And you have dad. too? Excuse me? Yeah, I said me and my dad. Thank you. Because we tend to eat a little much. Yeah. Uh, and it's something we've... I've always worked on the weight deal. I mean... At one point, I got down to 185 pounds, and I was really, really happy. Uh, but guess what? I'm happy now, and I'm way over 185 again. But, you know, I think really it all depends on who you are as a person and how you are physically and really how you feel. That's just my opinion. But um, the food thing is, is a different kind of drug. Uh, and is it, is it as bad? People can argue it's just as bad. But I'll tell you this. I'm not going to eat a cheeseburger and then get in my car and kill somebody. I'm not going to eat a cheeseburger and die an hour later. But if I did the wrong drug or if I drank and drove, then you can better believe I could kill somebody, myself, or both. So, so, so far this episode's been weird. We started off talking about music and now it's about drugs. So they kind of go together, I suppose. Some of the best musicians in the history of the business of music um, have died because they did drugs. Jim Morrison from The Doors. Jimi Hendrix died because he did drugs. I mean, dude, you know, Scott Weiland, who was... Jimi Hendrix yes. done drugs? Dude, Jimi Hendrix did so much drugs, it's insane. Oh, my God. There was barely any drugs left after Jimi did them. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, all due respect. But yeah. Scott Weiland, who was the lead singer of Stone Temple Pilots, dead because of drugs. Yeah. I mean, you know, some of the best voices of our generation and before... And, and the music business are dead because they weren't smart. They couldn't stop or they wouldn't stop or whatever the case may be. But, uh, yeah, like I said before, man, I was raised with, you know, different tastes in music. And since then, I've gravitated. two favorite songs. I love how you just interrupt. Not only are you listening to terrible music, but you have no manners either. This What's up with that? Two favorite songs. Let's hear it. It's going to be Justin Bieber. Okay, we've already established that one. Just to be able to love yourself and Panda by, um, well. You don't know, do you? I know. I, well, it's Panda. It goes like, bam, bam, boo. Yeah, okay. Panda. Somebody watches a lot of YouTube. Yep, I do. I've infatuated with the YouTube. Yep. Uh, YouTube is fun to a point, but there's a lot of garbage on YouTube. Like, there's a lot of garbage everywhere. That's why you got to be smart when you're online and, and don't fill your head full of a bunch of nonsense. But uh, well, that, actually, that's what it is. if you have YouTube on your tablet, just watch it all the time. Yeah, well, that's what you do if I let you, for sure. Yeah, you do. I do it all the time. Well. You said if, I, if you want to watch YouTube, go on your tablet and do it. Yeah, because I don't care to sit there and watch it. But little do you know, I've got restrictions on your account, so you can only view so many things. Hey, hey, look out. Actually, it's uh, it doesn't my, make a difference. Yeah, it's my account, <laughs> and I'm in control of you and my tablet. Listen to the ego on this kid. Unbelievable. Seven years old and already giving me the what for. Oh. Truth is, I'm just trying to keep you safe, man. That's all I'm doing here. That's that's my only mission. So, All right. Get back to talking about music. You do like a lot of the music that I listen to. You do like the Beatles. You do like Zeppelin. We listen to that. To uh, Zeppelin Celebration CD, we've we've wore that thing out because it's such a good album. And uh, you have your favorites, and we both like Joe Satriani. I, I saw Joe Satriani with your uncle Kyle down in Durham, and it was the best concert ever. Yeah, and then it made your earrings earring for three days. <laughs> it did. My both my ears, my one ear popped on the way back home that night, and the other ear didn't pop until the next night. That my ears have been ringing so bad, and like yeah, they pop like like if you go when you go up in the mountains and your ears are doing that thing, yeah. you gotta pop them. That's what happened. It was well worth it. We had excellent seats. He was very loud, and it was the best time ever. I love to see him in person again. Nah, dude, we weren't front row. We were six rows back. 
and it was a cl- it was a small theater, so the sound, the acoustics were amazing. So, speaking of sound and speaking of acoustics, the, this particular show that hopefully you subscribed and downloaded to right now, Tom Clark's Thirty Minute Fun Show. Um, this thing has been a pain, not a pain, but the server that I use. Um, I haven't submitted a brand new podcast in quite some time, okay? And I've had so many issues. By the time you've, you're have you listening to this, hopefully they've been resolved and we're up and running. But, wow. So hard. Like, And it should, life shouldn't be this hard if you just want to get your voice out there. So, But, you know, like I said before, man, we record when we can. A lot of times we're on the road. Sometimes we're in the studio. It's whatever. But, you know, the fact is just get it out there. So. If you're in the best hair place to go is great. Great Clips. Are you endorsing Great Clips? Yes. We endorse businesses all the time. Yeah. You want know the you want know the truth? We're just we're just looking for sponsors. Yeah. We want sponsors. Uh, so anyone that we've endorsed, feel free to give us a bunch of money, and we'll keep talking about your business and how good it is. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> okay. Music. So we've been talking a while about getting you some lessons, yeah. and and you know Daddy can play the guitar a little. And uh, we've got a guitar at home. Yeah, he got a, like, not an electric guitar, but, like, one of those guitars that you have a toothpick and then you go, like, <laughs> Not a toothpick, a guitar pick. Yeah. It's an acoustic guitar, six-string acoustic. Yeah. Um, so, but you want to learn the drums, right? Which fits your personality, I have to say. You're a drummer, especially with that haircut, man. So we're going to have to get you some drumming lessons. Hopefully they'll stick. Yeah. And if you were to get good enough, I'd buy you a drum set. Yay. So, we'll look into that. Let's look into that, because I'm serious about it this time. We'll see what happens. And music's a great thing. Music can... I, I firmly believe music can bring people together. Music can make you feel good. There's certain songs I listen to. It can to. pump you up and wake you up. Yes. It can make you feel good on the inside. There's a lot of Beatles songs that do that for me, for sure. Just make me feel good on the inside. And uh, some songs, some some bands you have to listen to, and you just want to listen to something loud. And that's when I put in Black Label Society, Zach Wild, and that's when I put in Motorhead, and, yep. you know, a little bit of Metallica. And just when you just want to turn something up and just don't think about anything, you know what I mean? So that's, I mean, music can do. It can save you. I think. I feel like music can save you. I feel like music can speak to you at your lowest point. Uh, and make you feel better when you're at your highest point. Who needs drugs when you've got something like that that can make you feel good on the inside? Um, so, you ever imagine yourself on stage playing in a band? Yeah. What music, what instrument are you playing? Drums. Drums, of course. Every man, I think, every man has that that fantasy in his head about getting on stage in front of, you know, 20,000 screaming people and and rocking out we've all got that I've never met a dude that doesn't have that in the back of his head somewhere so we've all got that just like every guy wants to be a pro wrestler really I mean it's kind of the same thing you want to be on stage and you just want to you know kick butt dude so alright so you have a choice you can either be a drummer or a WWE superstar you had to pick one drummer really I'm shocked by that you wouldn't be a WWE superstar why is that? Mm, you got to have a reason. You don't want to get thrown around the ring, do you? Nope. No. Nope. The ring hurts. I'm going to tell you right now. Taking bumps hurt, man. It's not a fun thing sometimes. Yeah, and with Big Show and Mark Henry, you, you can break the ring. It's true. They've done it. Yeah. They take care of you, man. They're pros. They could work you and you probably wouldn't feel a thing. Yeah. Until Big Show lit your chest up with chops. <laughs> <laughs> I take a chop from Big Show just to say I did it. Yeah, he also taught me like twenty or thirty, a thousand times, I guess. Good God, who? You. I have never chopped you. Have you? Yeah, right. <laughs> Sometimes we will get into a, a, a chop war. Yeah. And we'll we'll switch up. Not allowed to hit him. Just not where his ribs is fractured. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as we've said before, Daddy did get hurt. Yep. Um, There's but, been a lot of stuff on his floor. Blood. 
Dude, no, there was no blood. Yeah, you said that there, there would be blood. Oh, no, blood. no, that's not, no, I know what you're talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the floor that you're walking on. No. <laughs> Stop it. You, you said blood. I know what I said, good God. Calm yourself. <laughs> so it's a beautiful day, man. It's a great day to be talking about music. It's a great day to be on the road. Yeah. Um, we have fun. And hopefully you guys are having fun listening to the show. We hope you are. Yep. Um, so, here's how much of a Beatles fan I am. Yeah. Your middle name. Remember? Yeah. Your middle name is? Lennon. Lennon, named after? Lennon. After who? Lennon. Lennon, John Lennon of the Beatles. Oh. Wake up, boy. I thought it was Lennon. <laughs> Good Lord. Are you asleep back there or what? Probably. God in heaven. People are going to think you're out of your mind. Which you are kind of out of your mind. Yeah. You're a wacky seven-year-old. And someone's turning eight soon. I am. Next year. No, not next year. Full in September. Yeah, I know. Which is next year. No, son. It's two months from now. Wake up. Next year you turn nine, son. Wait, I do? Yes. In two months you turn eight. We need to work on your math skills because, you know, I'm a little, I'm a bit concerned if I'm being honest. <laughs> oh, it's okay, though. One times one is one. Okay, well, you got that one, at least. Two times two is four. Well done. What's three times three? <laughs> no. Eight. Two, no, you're guessing. I know. Three times three is nine. Oh. What's four times four? <laughs> oh. Sucker, I don't know that many times. <laughs> you best be paying attention, fool. I don't do times. You're going to be doing times, that's for sure. Till fourth grade. Till what? Till fourth grade. Fourth grade. Be doing it for then. Yeah. So, yeah, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, um, yeah. And I, I say this again because we got Jimi Hendrix playing right now on the sound system, but you can't hear it because I'm a, I can't turn it up. Because if I turn it up, I might get in trouble because it's like copyrighted and stuff. Yeah. So I, I can't do it. But Easy Rider by Jimi Hendrix is playing right now. Yep. And we enjoy some Jimi Hendrix. I can't lie to you. Just the idea of being on stage with a guitar and just... You don't know what Airsoft is? You know what it is? What is it? Huh? Airsoft is BBs. What's that got to do with music? Uh huh? Nothing. <laughs> Stay on point. You, you stray. You stray too often. I don't. Yes, you do. You do. I do. How? I'm trying to stay on top. Okay, now it's time for who you got. Already? Yep. Okay. So, since you want to start the game, you go first. Okay. Who you got? Batman with his new armor. Okay. And versus... Make it good. Superman, Donna, Justice. Superman, Donna, Justice versus Bat. That's boring. They've already done that. Who cares? They'll do it again in the ring. Well, we weren't very impressed. We weren't very impressed by the movie, to be honest. Well, I was. You wasn't. You didn't like the movie too much. You fell asleep during the film. Yeah. A lot of people fell asleep during the film. Let's be honest. Yeah. But it's out on DVD. And guess what? I got scared to look at crap when I was asleep. Cause when that big boom came on, I, I was like, I jerked so hard, I was like, oh. You're you're getting that mixed up with Civil War. There was an, yeah, there was an explosion during Civil War and it woke you up. It was when the building blew up where T'Challa, the Black Panther, and his, his oh, father was killed. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to Civil War coming out on DVD. That's yeah. gonna be great. Batman v Superman's already out on DVD, and I'm I could care less. Cause I'm not I'm not buying that one. So. Well, you know, so much for the who you got game. You kind of you kind of ruin it there. Can we, let's start over. Let's do a let's do another one. Okay, you want to? You go. Okay. All right. So, um, let me think for a second. All right. Let's stay with Batman then, since we love Batman so much. Yeah. Who you got? Batman versus Jason from Friday the Thirteenth. Okay. I have to go with Jason. Take off his weapons away. Still go with Jason. Why? Because. If you take all of Jason, Jason's weapons away, he's got nothing. He's just like a big zombie walking around. He can bite. He 
He can bite? Yeah. I've never seen Jason bite anyone. He does he can't like bite you and turn you into him. Although wouldn't that be a twist? Yeah. Oh, and you know where he got the machete from? Where? The store? The store? Yep. So Jason just walked in and said, I'll have the the big silver one with the black handle, please. Yeah. I would imagine that's how Jason sounds if he spoke. He doesn't. Does he? He doesn't speak. He doesn't speak. He's, he says nothing. That's because he's a zombie. Yes. He's not a zombie. Yes, he is. He's been dead for years. Somehow he keeps getting back up. I don't know how he does it. But, first of all, you've never seen any of the Friday the 13th films, and you're not going to. Well, Those I, are what we call slasher films, okay? Um, first of all, yeah, I've have. I seen the trailer for it. Trailers. That's not the movie. It's not the same thing, smart boy. That's number one. Number two, there's too much violence and gore and blood. Now, adults can handle it. Most for the most part. Kids your age had no business watching it. Third, third, listen, of all the stuff we've talked about that are possible that's out there, Jason is not possible because there's no way a human being could take the punishment that he takes and get right back up after he's attacked. Unless he's John Cena. Yeah. <laughs> had to throw John a jab at John. <laughs> had to throw a jab at John. My apologies. It just comes out. I can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he's not possible. Freddy's not possible. I mean, none of those Michael Myers from the Halloween movies, those guys are not possible. Well, there would be one case of it. My friend Cubby, he went to this one haunted trail one time, Scarewinds. Well, went trick or treating, and you know what happened? So many people were dressed up as Michael Myers. He thought they were real, but he's the first one, he, he turned around, and then he saw someone, and then he was like, that actually Michael Myers, and then he, and then he, and then the guy that was dressed up as him, he took his mask, mask off, and Kobe was like, "Oh, thank gosh." <laughs> <laughs> Scary winds is is frightening, from what I've been told. I don't know if it's true or not, but I don't. I can't say that I get scared that easy. I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You're still kind of afraid of the dark. No, I'm not. Come on, I'm gonna put you on the spot, but it's true. You would rather me walk upstairs with you than you go by yourself if the lights are out. Yeah, right. Well, it's true. Doesn't mean I, doesn't mean it's anything to be I've ashamed been of. I've dark before. I know. When I was awake. Yeah. The power went out. Well, you sleep in the dark too, so can't be that bad on you. <laughs> the door. See, I, I've exposed his weakness, so now he's he has to try to cover I'm it up. Not scared. It's okay, man. Everybody's got something. It's your kryptonite. It's all right. My kryptonite is water. I can't be in water. Cause because he don't swim. I can't swim. Neither can you, fool. Fool, I've been practicing. You've been practicing, huh? Yeah. All right, folks, guess what? You're not going to believe this. We have reached the end of another thrill-packed, action-packed episode of the 30-Minute Fun Show. Yeah. Haven't you had a blast? Say it. Yeah. Say it. Yeah! Oh my God! Did you really have to do that? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, check out the links. Uh, and in the... Don't forget to check out Tom and Kyle's Comedy Action Hour. You always got to be interrupting me. Why? <laughs> be sure to check out the links uh, in the description of the show. Please, as he said, go check out the Boeing Studio stuff. Tom and Kyle's Comedy Action Hour and Tom Clark's main event are the sister podcasts. Thanks for downloading and subscribing to Tom Clark's Thirty Minute Fun Show. We appreciate your business. Come back real soon. Episode 6 will be here before you know it, fools. Yeah, fools. All right, man. We're what out. What are we doing next month? Next month. Probably next, like, tomorrow or something. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. We're out. Thanks much. So we'll see you next time. Hit them, boy. Peace.